well-known Memphis Comedy Club has shut down abruptly after canceling multiple shows. It's an example of yet another Memphis business closing its doors. Our Shay Simon has been working to find out why Chuckles Comedy House is closing, and she's live in downtown Memphis with more. Shay, what would you find out? Yeah, that's right, Greg. This year we have seen many business closures across the city, but this one certainly came as a shock to many fans on social media who say yet another safe place for family and friends is closing its doors. A Memphis staple for more than a decade, Chuckles Comedy House has been a consistent stop for up and coming comedians and celebrities like Cheryl Underwood. If some man is coming from Tennessee, Mississippi, all the time, <laughs> Come on, holla, girl. And even Lavelle Crawford. Funny stories about because Memphis got some good places like Rendezvous. Oh, uh, After years of laughter, the comedy club in Cordova has closed. Williams, I'm in Nashville right now. Master P just asked me about Chuckles and said when he come to Memphis, and I had to tell him the news. Marlo Matthews has been there since the beginning. You know, bad to bad not being there, but it meant a lot for the city, and we had to we had a place where we could go relax. Like people, Denzel would come up and you didn't even know he was in town. Cat Williams would pop up, you didn't know he was in town. Chuckles was one of those places that drew a lot of well-known people. Two weeks ago, this post on social media announced all the August shows were canceled after an earlier post included six comedians set to hit the stage last month. Marlo says the sudden closure comes as Chuckles' owners are moving in a different direction. So, you know, Tuckles has ran his run and he's going into other business entities. So that's why Tuckles closed. It ran his, his course. Though the future of Chuckles is unclear. It's a chapter closing. Matthew says another Memphis Oasis could be on the way. And a lot of very powerful people want to get involved with doing something like this. So uh, if there's things in the works. Just stay tuned. We will definitely stay tuned, but for some perspective here, the Black Lodge in Crosstown, a Save a Lot in Parkway Village, and even the Bishop here in downtown Memphis have all closed their doors this summer. For your news leader in downtown Memphis, Shay Simon, WREG News, Channel 3. Hopefully city leaders can figure out a way to stop the bleeding, both literally and figuratively.